What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. We have finally made it. We are here at the end of the Pokemon League. Today we are taking on the mysterious champion of the Hoenn region. At the end of this hallway, here he lies. He lies? Hmm, I don't know who the champion is. Why do I think it's a he? I have no idea, but look at these doors. He must be a giant to have to use these doors. Like seriously, who the heck needs doors this gigantic? Feel like I'm stepping into heaven right now, knocking on heaven's door. Who could this champion be? We're about to find out. <gasps> no way. Is that really him? My boy? The man himself? The legend? It's Steven. Welcome, Orange. I was hoping I would get to see you make it here one day. Tell me, what have you seen on your journey with your Pokemon? What have you felt meeting so many other trainers out there? Traveling this rich land of Hoenn, has it awoken something inside you? I want you to come at me with all that you've learned. Whoa! Opening up and coming at you, Steven? Are we just talking about a Pokemon battle here? My Pokemon and I will respond in turn with all that we know. Let it begin! Let it begin indeed our final battle in the Pokemon League here in the Hoenn region. It is the champion, Steven. I had no idea this was the champion. Come on, did you guys really expect it to be the guy that's been with us throughout our entire journey? He's the least guy that seemed like he would be the champion, right? I mean, he did give us our Mega Stone. He was there all the way from the beginning. He knew the legends of Hoenn, but to me, he was just a freaky rock collector, but it seems like we have led off with the wrong Pokemon here, because Yegdip definitely can't handle this Skarmory. So we're going to swap out here, and maybe we are going to get to use Mega Magnetric after all. It's the only Mega that we haven't used so far here in the Pokemon League, so I guess we're going to get our chance now. Whoa, that is a lot of damage. Okay, it was a critical hit, so I guess it makes more sense. But Azula, it is Morphin time. We haven't used you so far in the League Challenge, but... This is the final battle here at the Pokemon League, so we might as well use our final Mega. That is Mega Manectric, the Mega Azula. I feel like it's been the Mega Evolution that I've used the most throughout this playthrough, so it's only fitting that we use it as our final battle here, or as our final Mega Evolution for the final battle. You know what? There's a lot of finals here, but certainly this isn't the finale of this playthrough, right? There's no way it can be. We got so much more to do in the post game, so at least that is one final thing that we don't have to worry about. Of course, I know he's gonna full restore here, and I'm gonna go for the Ice Fang just to knock off that Sturdy, because Sturdy is just so annoying. I noticed he layered those spikes there, and that might be a problem in the future, because now, every time we switch in and out our Pokemon, we're gonna be hitting those spikes on the ground and taking a little bit of damage, so that could be very annoying. And Yagdip is going to go level 34, or sorry, 54, that is crazy. Agron is going to be Steven's next Pokemon. I think that is a Rock and Steel type, so we'll probably be best to go for Wuju here. We could also go for Finn and use that Hammer Arm, but hey, if we got the Pokemon with the same type attack bonus from being a Fighting type, why not go for it? He destroyed a lot of souls in this Elite Four so far. Wuju, our newest team member, has really shown off that he's a good Pokemon. Do all of your Pokemon have Sturdy Steven? What the heck, bro? Oh my gosh, and our defense and special defense are both gonna fall from that. Wuju is down, holy moly. That sucks. All of his Pokemon are gonna have Sturdy, aren't they? I just, I have a feeling now. Well, at least we still have another Pokemon with a nice uh, fighting type attack to take this guy out. And actually, he's not even gonna go for a full restore on Agron. Kind of strange there. All right, well, there goes Steven's last Pokemon. So far, I, would, I was about to say we were one for one, but we've lost one Pokemon, Steven's lost two. So really, we're ahead right now. But then again, it could go back and forth. Like, who knows if this Trey Lily will take out one of our Pokemon. Cray Lily, I can't say that. I think this is a bug and rock type, though. So I'm not sure how exactly we're going to deal with this guy. I'm going to go to Finn, or sorry, to um, Ultron, just because, why the heck not? We can Will-O-Wisp it, hopefully whittle it down little by little. Actually, Hex can be very powerful sometimes, so we'll try to go for the Will-O-Wisp and Hex combo. Because then at least it won't really be able to hurt us, right? At least I think this guy's a physical attacker. 
To be honest though, I have no idea what Cray Dilly does. Apparently he can fuse Ray, cause you know, every single Elite Four member so far in this league has wanted to confuse us in some way, so why the heck wouldn't the champion also want to do that? Seriously, I think literally every trainer in this game has at least some form of confusing our Pokemon. Like every trainer, not just the trainers in the Pokemon League or in the gym challenges, literally every trainer so far. Oh gosh, this guy's got Giga Drain. That is not good for us. I think I might just swap out to... Well, we definitely don't want to go for Finn now knowing that he's got Giga Drain. Um, I think I might go for Yegdin. Shouldn't hurt us that bad. And maybe, you know, Hurricane will come through for us. It should be at least neutral considering this Pokemon is half Bug type. And yeah, Giga Drain not going to do too much here. It is a special attack though, I literally don't know anything about Cradilly. like, I don't know, I, I've never seen anyone use this Pokemon. The one time I saw Cradilly being used, I think was in a Wi-Fi battle, and all it did was stall me out until I wanted to Rage Quit, which is usually how I end up losing most Wi-Fi battles, I really don't like stalling tactics, and I mean, I guess that is kind of what we were going to do with Will-O-Wisp right now, but once again, we are confused, at this point, that is not something that is rare to find here in the Pokemon League. Of course he's gonna use his um, full restore on Cradilly. that's just awesome. I really hope we break out of confusion though, because I feel like we could actually beat this guy up with a couple of Hurricanes, but not if we keep hurting ourselves in confusion. Oh gosh, you've got Ancient Power? Well, that's not good. Come on, please break out of the confusion. Thank you, we're gonna hit it with a nice Hurricane here. I know that Yet Dip is most likely going to get taken out. Yep, another Ancient Power coming through. Hopefully he doesn't get those stat boosts from Ancient Power though. That will be good, or would be good if he doesn't get him. Um, Alright, so who do we want to go for next? I guess we'll go back to Ultron and try the Will-O-Wisp Hex. Oh my gosh, these spikes are definitely hurting us though. We may just have to bring in some revives in this battle. I know I said in the last episode, I was glad that we haven't used any revives yet. Um, because I don't like relying on those. And Ultron is down now. Oh my goodness, this is not good at all. Alright, um, I really don't want to go for Finn because of this thing having Giga Drain. But I think Finn might be able to one-shot this guy. What about Fabi? Why don't we go for Fabi? Oh, wait, we have Solar Beam. Hmm, is Solar Beam going to be super effective? I don't think it will. But, I mean, we can try it. We'll see how much damage we do with Fabi here. At least this guy is burned, which... I think he's going to not want to use Ancient Power as long as he's burned. He's going to keep going for the Giga Drains, which are not going to do anything to Fabi. They should just even heal up Fabi. Of course, you're going to confuse Raze us. Okay. Well, you know what, Steven? If that's the way that you're going to play, buddy, I'm going to bring back some of my Pokemon. Well, not right now. I, I really want to take you out. So let's go for another Solar Beam. I really, really hope we go through this confusion. Oh my gosh. Come on, Steven. He is going to go for the Ancient Power anyway, though. That's gonna hurt. Alright, if we can just break through this one confusion, we will be solid. Solid as the rock that he throws with ancient power, just please. Thank you, Fabi. Coming through once again. Whenever our times of need, Fabi always pulls through, except I use Dark Pulse, so I'm an idiot, but hey, at least the burning is gonna take this guy down, so that's something. Ah, Cradily, Cradily, Cradily. Very, very annoying. Um, I mean, I'm expecting an Armaldo next, considering he had Cradily. And I have no idea what type Armaldo even is. I think they're both Bug and Rock type. I don't even know how to deal with that typing. Oh gosh, Claydol up next. Okay. That's not even a Steel type. Wait, I just realized. I thought Steven used only Steel types, but Cradily wasn't a Steel type either. Huh. I'm kind of dumb. Alright. Well, Claydol is next regardless, and I think we can actually take that out with a couple of- Oh my gosh. Wow, we did no damage with that. Okay, well I guess it's time to bring back the Fabi, because I don't think there's any other way that we're going to take out this guy, considering he just put up that Reflect there. We're going to do no damage to this guy. You go for that Earth Power, you know? I really don't mind. At least I know that I don't think- Oh! The Drought was still out. Okay, okay, okay. I've made that mistake twice now, literally. It, it really sucks. I keep forgetting that Drought powers down our water moves. I know I might be kind of dumb for that, but whatever. Now let's see how much power the Waterfall really does. There it is. That's actually some pretty good strength there. And he is still faster, so I think he might take us out with this one. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Alright, 
Doesn't matter though, because I did bring back the Fabi and she's really the savior right now. She is the one that's going to take out most of Steven's Pokemon, I have a feeling. So it's a good thing I brought her back. I don't think that this Claydol will be faster than Fabi. You know, it was faster than Swamper, but Swamper's kind of chunky. He's been uh, lifting a little bit, especially when he Mega Evolves. And then again, we still have Azula in the reserves. So if anything goes downhill, we still have Azula. So there we go. Two more Pokemon left for Steven. No idea what they could be. But I guess we'll find out at least for now what his next one is. Armaldo. All right, I thought he might have that. So, you know, I would say I prepared a secret weapon for it. The truth is, I have no idea what I'm going to do. So, Azula, you're coming back out. This guy probably has Earthquake or something. So, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to try and heal up as many of my Pokemon as I can. And at least intimidate it. You know, that'll give it some, um, drop it some attack. Um, I think I might just go for Discharge, just see how much damage we do here. If it does go for Earthquake, either way, it's going to take out both Azula or Fabi. Wow, we're going to get the Paralysis too, I love that. Cross Scissor, X Scissor, whatever you call it. There we go. That's not too bad of damage. Alright, alright, we might be able to survive without reviving for now. Then again, he still has his final Pokemon, which secretly, I know what it might be. I, I might know what it is. You know, I had no idea that the champion was Steven, but you know, now that I know the champion is Steven, of course I know his final Pokemon, right? All right, can we hope for some paralysis hacks here? Something. Please monitor. There's, you don't need to go dark right now, monitor. This is not the right time. Dark Rye? Dark right now? <laughs> See, that was a Pokemon pun without realizing it. Please don't use any more forest doors. Actually, I wouldn't mind if you use a Fortress Store, as long as you use it on Armaldo and not your next Pokemon. That is cool with me, buddy. Alright, there we go. We took out that one, and now Steven's final Pokemon is going to be Metagross. And in case you guys didn't notice, our little buddy Steven has got a little surprise plan for us with this Metagross. So I am going to revive our dear friend, Finn in the hopes that he'll be able to do something for us because we are not going to have a good time against this Metagross otherwise. This is a Mega Metagross. Not something to mess with. This is going to be tough. He's going straight for the bullet punch. He knows that Azula is dead regardless of what he used and even going to get a critical hit off of that. That is crazy. Now I don't know if I want to go for Finn or Fabi here. Fabi can probably get off a really strong um, flamethrower and maybe even take it out in a hit. I don't know if it will though. The thing is, if Fabi fails us here, we will be in certain trouble. I also don't know. I have a feeling that he's going to be faster than us. Oh, he's got the bullet punch too. Oh my gosh, this is not good. All right, let's just risk it, you know? You got to take risky moves in life sometimes and now we're dead. So probably shouldn't have taken the risky move there, huh? Not smart of us at all. All right, Finn, get back out here, buddy. You can do it. Yeah, I believe in you, Finn. This is not good. I think I might just um, use up one of our max revives to bring back Fabi. Because that is our only chance of winning right now, is Fabi. Gosh, we lost way too many Pokemon against that Cradilly. Thinking back to it though, we probably should have just... Um, oh gosh. Whoa! No way, Finn. Finn, you are awesome. I love Finn so much. Look at that. Pokemon of me, everybody. That is why you play Pokemon of me. And now that means we got to revive another one of our Pokemon. So I'm going to bring back our buddy Wooju, who also kind of died. I don't remember what he even died to. But whatever, you know. That is why we play Pokemon and me, everybody. It's for moments like that. So Wooju, you're coming out first. You're going to try to weaken this guy since the drought is still up. I want to make sure that goes away before we bring back Fabi so we can get a reset on that. Um, I don't think we'll be faster. So we might just get, oh my gosh, Giga Impact? Really? Really, dude? Holy moly, the damage. What? That is a little bit ridiculous. All right, I don't think we're going to have the drought anymore then. This doesn't make sense. Come on, bring the drought back out. All right, at least it's still up. Whatever. He's got a rest from his Giga Impact, so at least we're good on that. But we just found out that he's faster than us. So how are we going to take this guy out now? This is not good. I think I might revive um, Ultron then. And maybe Sucker Punch this guy. I think that will be our chance. Zen Headbutt. Okay, I don't think... Will that kill us? Of course it will. This guy is so strong. What the heck? Oh, it's all on the line now, guys. Will we actually beat Steven? Or is he about to destroy us? I don't know. 
Yes, I know it has a freaking Metagross Sight. It's it's literally Mega Evolve right now. If this doesn't kill it, then we're done. Oh, it's it's super effective. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that wasn't that hard to figure out, huh? I did waste three of my max revives though in that battle, which is not good. But man, you know what? We did it, guys, and that is all that matters. Ultron's learning grudge, but I don't like that movie, so you're not gonna learn that. We did it, everybody! We defeated the champion, Steven. So I, the champion, fall in defeat. That is a lot of money. This man must make a lot of money from his rock collections, or sorry, mineral collection. Just as I have come to expect, Orange, you are truly an excellent Pokemon trainer. Congratulations to you, and thank you. I'd wanted to learn how you feel about this world, what kinds of ideals you have developed with your Pokemon. I feel I was able to find the answers in our battle. The feeling you have for your Pokemon, and the way that your Pokemon gave their all in battle in response to those feelings, those two together created a great power. That is how you seize victory today. I felt a thrill of excitement in my breast when we first met. Excuse me? And now I know for sure that feeling was not misplaced. You are rightfully the Hoenn region's new... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No way. Oh, okay. Why every time May comes out, I just feel like we're about to have a battle and... We literally only have Ultron right now to battle May with, so that would not be good. Huh? Wait, what? Orange, could it be that it's already over? Hey, even Professor Birch is gonna show up for the party. See? What did I say, May? Didn't I tell you that Orange would be just fine? You've finally done it! When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Battleberg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance, but to think you've actually become the champion! But congratulations on today's victory! Now go in there with your head held high! Orange. No, I should call you the Hoenn Region's new Pokemon League champion. Come with me, champion! You can't come in here, May, you're not a champion! I'm very sorry, but only a trainer who has successfully become the champion may go beyond this point. You'll need to wait outside with the professor. No way! <laughs> yes way. Just joking, it's okay, it's fine. Rules are rules, right? Honestly, congratulations! And now we get to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. This is what every trainer aspires to get to. The Hall of Fame. This room is where we maintain the records of Pokemon that prevail through the harshest of battles. It is here that League Champions are honored. Come. We will use this machine to record your name and the names of the partners who battled along with you to triumph over the Pokemon League. Oh, they actually have all the different Pokeballs too? That is really cool. I love those little details that they have sometimes. It's just so cool. It makes the whole experience better. Now, we have made it to the Hall of Fame. Let's thank all of our awesome Pokemon, Yegdip the Pidgeot, Ultron the Bayonet, Finn the Swampert, Wooju the Gallade, Azula the Manectric, and Fabi the Beast the Ninetales. We do have to give a shout out though to Metagross as well. I mean, he kind of got his honorable mention being Steven's final Pokemon. Even being the Mega Metagross, that was just so awesome. It seems like our entire team made it into the Hall of Fame. This has been such an awesome playthrough though. We still have so much more to experience in this game, and I have a feeling that the post game of this game will make it my favorite, if not at least put it up there in my top three. Well then again, it probably is already in my top three favorites, so I don't know. It's been such a fun time though, but all good things must come to an end. Or do they?